This is a remote oil filter mount kit for a continental, a small continental airplane engine. This piece bolts to the side of the engine. You remove a plate that's there, which is a place you can attach an oil cooler if you want to the engine, but I believe on most C85s it's unused. So you just bolt this to the side there, bolt this up to the firewall using this just bent piece of aluminum, and then hook hoses between these. This is just a backing plate that goes on the other side, on the inside of the firewall for rigidity. Oil filter screws on here, done. How much do you think this cost? Here we've got a couple of fittings, a couple more fittings. This, you know, you'd mill out this shape, it'd be, it'd start out, what's that, five eighths, three quarters thick, maybe a one inch piece, you know, not too big. Mill the shape, you can mill this face around these guys, drill some holes, thread there, and that's it. So that's one piece. This lop off a one inch piece off of aluminum rod, what's that, three inches in diameter maybe, drill a hole here, thread it, drill a hole here, thread it, drill a hole here and thread it, and then just take a, what is it, a bull nose bit, or a round nose bit, and go bzzz, so this groove is in here, um, and that lets the oil come from here into the oil filter, and then through here. So it would travel in through this fitting, get up into this groove, go into the filter, and then back out here, or vice versa. I don't know which direction it goes. So that's pretty simple too. You'd need a mill, but honestly, anybody with a home mill could do that. Thin piece of aluminum with some holes in it. This is a bent piece of aluminum. They round it over this edge to fit the contour of this. Um, some hardware. I just hand tightened some bolts on there with the washers, and then you've got a few few more bolts and nylon lock nuts and washers. One gasket for this thing. All right, how much does that cost? This is for an airplane. If you know anything about airplanes or much about them, you'll know that airplane parts are absurdly expensive. Absolutely absurd. So you know this is not much material, a few parts are that are off the shelf. The main work would be this piece and this piece, and for a CNC mill, this would be super easy. This would be even pretty easy by hand, um, to be honest. Um, $600. $600. Then I thought, well you, you see the instructions, and there's a whole bunch of parts, and it turns out that all the parts listed are, I believe, all the parts that are available for all the different engines. So, for example, this is the only adapter I got, whereas also shown in that picture were adapters for other engines. Um, they also showed hoses. What you need to do is you need to go to your own airplane, figure out where you're going to mount this, and then measure for hoses. And then you call them back, and they get you the hoses. Turns out there's a, a company they use, and all that company does is make aircraft grade hoses. But I thought, okay, 600 bucks is horrendous, but I'm not, I don't have the hoses yet, so it won't be quite as bad. I'll have a few more parts for my 600 bucks. So I emailed them and told them my hose length, and they got back to me and said to call them. So I called them, and they said, we just want to verify you want us to order those hoses. I said, yes. They said, That'll be an extra $250. And there's the hoses. So, you know, this is, they were like 12 and 10 inches or something. Extra $250. Absolutely absurd. The price for this kit was absurd. The price for these hoses is absurd. You know, you got low, low pressure oil going through here. Oil is important, but Good grief. Seriously? Alright, so what does this buy me? So to speak, um, my oil filter change interval. So the, the, the engine comes with a screen, an oil filter screen. You gotta change the oil every 25 hours. With a filter, you double your oil change interval 
and it's much easier access. I'll just pop the cowling open. This will be right there. Very, very easy to access. So it'll make it more convenient. So it's a matter of convenience. Um, would I have done it if I knew it was going to come to 850? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, I've got it all. And uh, head into the field to start working with the A&P to put this in and to install um, an alternator to replace the generator so I'll get full voltage at idle RPM so I'll have taxi lights and landing lights that hopefully will be much brighter than with the generator which produces low voltage at idle RPM or at you know the RPMs you're at on final approach and or taxiing um, and some other odds and ends what else do I have um, I'm going to put in strobe lights on the wingtips, which is a requirement for night flight. You need an anti you need anti collision lights, um, and I don't remember what else, but several several nice things. Oh, a new intercom because the intercom that came with the plane is portable and it's falling apart and it's a piece of crap at this point in time anyway. Um, at one point it was okay, but this will be much more convenient. I'll have outlet headphone plugs or headphone jacks in the panel. So the wiring situation will be much nicer when I have wires dangling all over from the headsets going in front of the trim control, which has been um, just one more distraction as I'm trying to learn how to fly. So we're going to start working with the A&P today and probably tomorrow, and he'll probably have to continue for another few days to do all this stuff. Um, so yeah, it's expensive, but it'll be fun to have some improvements in the airplane. Ah, we're also putting in ADS-B and it, it'll, that includes a nice new transponder. So, goodbye money.